Hello. So it is spooky Friday night. I'm super excited. Tonight is Frankenstein. I've been looking forward to him all week. I just look forward to the spookies. Spooky Friday night. I already have my hair pinned back, but I already did some hairspray because I wanted it to be fuzzy wuzzy. So while we're letting some people, anyone who is going to join, that wants to join, can join. Um, I'm going to give them a second. I'm going to refill my water. Um, next week is Creepy Clown for our Spooky Friday Nights. Um, I'm really looking forward to that one. Well, aren't I all? You know what? I got these brand new hair clips. Let's get rid of these ones. These are pretty. I'm going to use them for my next, um, sugar skull. If I can get it out. No, no, no. It just wants to stay in there permanently. Yes, it does. Okay, it's lost a couple hairs there. Um, but I got these. Oh, cute. Hopefully, it'll do the job. Oh, look at the little skeleton hands holding my hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that cute? Okay, so water's filled, that's filled. All right, so we're gonna start with covering our face green, completely green. So I want, I'm going to be squirting in here. Get all nice moist. I'm gonna spritz the black, I'm gonna spritz the green again. And then I gotta remember to turn on that. I always spritz your sponges. This is the longest part, so I'm okay with having it take a little bit of time. All right. We're, we just spritz the black to get it started, but that seems good for me. I'm happy with that. And if you ever, you can spritz the sponge some more. All right. Now, oh, look at that. All right. Um, I'm going to get close to the eye. Now, if you notice, my eye is already black. Um, so the reason why is because as much as I love painting my eyeballs black, I am going to try, I, I tried, to, I applied some makeup, um, so I didn't put the black directly on my eye, but I mean, you can do it. I do it all the time, but, but I did it a lot today and it's in my contacts got a little weird. So I don't feel any, there's, n I didn't feel like anything weird or anything. You know what I mean? Like. It just, it, my eyeballs stuck together, <laughs> like my eyelids. Anywho, it, you don't have to. I did. Um, you can use really cheap makeup. That's normally the best stuff to get, um, to waste on, like, covering all that. And, of course, I got that in abundance because I'm too cheap. I totally am. I am death not ashamed of it. So we're covering our cheeks. We're covering our mouth. We're gonna do something fun with our lips, but it's good if they look a little chapped. See, they look a little cracked. Um, earlier tonight, I was watching Coco the millionth time, which I, it's not that bad of a movie to watch a million times. If it was a VHS, it would have broken a while ago. VHS for the youngsters are these tapes that are about this big about half the size of my head and you push it into a metal box and you hit the play button and it winds up but if no one rewinded it before they put it back in there you have to rewind it and that takes a couple minutes just a little quick education for any munchkins that happen to watch this oh i just love it so much better than the white i actually had kids i went to a roller skating rink and i had a black light especially for that occasion and um with that uh gotta i'm gotta get all the way up in the hairline for this one so i'm gonna smear and then dab 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 dab, dab. um uh, i think it was my nephew or it was the birthday boy who requested a green skeleton i'm like okay sure buddy and his mom's like no and i'm like yeah let's do it and so he was all green, and then I just did, like, my basic skeleton look. 
which is good. I'm getting as close as I want with the black or with the green because when I do the black, I don't know how far out or how less I'm going to do. So it's always better to be cover more than cover less because you can cover the green up later. Now with the green that we have here, what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our handy dandy brushes. I feel like the Wicked Witch of the West. <laughs> I'll have you and your little dog too. Sorry. All right, so we're taking this and we're just going to do a line. A line right there. See? Now, you test it out. It's going to help make um, the lines on our faces. So, like, for instance, I want, like, that right there. And I want it brought down a little bit to kind of make it look like I have a hollowed out cheek. And before, it's going to dry. But we're going to reapply some black. So it's a similar... Kind. We're not like fully loading it either and we're dabbing it out off the extra. We're just applying it to the cheekbone because he's been dead. Like Frankenstein, like homie has been dead. He hasn't had a full meal. He's hungry. All right. Oh man. Scratch. Okay. So we did that. Oh yeah. Hmm. It's unnecessary. He laughed a lot when he was alive. And we're just blending this in. Hmm. He has a dirty nose. Okay, so... I want to add a little bit more, so what? instead of just reapplying, because I want it to be the faintest, I'm just spritzing this and I'm going underneath the eye. Like so. If you feel like any of this is just too much, you can just um go back over it with the original sponge. Just blend it all in. So I'm going to crease my forehead. I'm going to do, take the dirty sponge to it. And see how like when you furl and you do that, it creates natural <sighs> lines. That's what takes the longest out of this. I don't think it's going to take that long. Little frame. Sorry. Little guy. We are going to take our gigantic green. I'm going to get her wet. Yes, I know it's a her. She's beautiful and thick. Alright, I'm getting a little wet. Actually, our face is still kind of wet, so we're gonna let it dry for a second. So, anyone watch the monsters? Love the monsters. Um, I only ever got to watch a few of them, and of course they were all reruns. But um, no, I always thought they were good. You know, a family of a different sort. You know, they just happened to be around the same time we were. And I'm going to paint close to my eye. And then if anyone saw my Heath Ledger, um, the Heath Ledger I did of uh, Joker, I'm going to do something similar to that where I take the gray and I make lines on my face. I just didn't want to get on my eyelid, so homie is a wee bit tired. Mm, you know what? F it. I'm going to do it. So I'm trying. Spooky Friday nights are really just for fun. Totally not kind of kid appropriate. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sponge and I'm going to lightly brush it. Like so. And I'm going to take the spritzer. 
so I'm gonna make my thinking face or one of my thinking faces and I'm just going to dab okay that didn't work out because I got the sponge too wet but it did blend it quite nicely which I'm okay with like so but I always felt bad for Frankenstein kind of like you know all the other horror movie guys they didn't ask to be awakened. They didn't ask to be brought back to life. And then everyone wants to kill him. Uh, like, that's not fair. Granted, if it was me or an already dead guy, I'd probably pick myself. But, I always felt bad for him in the movies. Ghosts? I don't know. In movies that involve ghosts. I always thought like they had a choice and they just chose the wrong one. All right, so I'm getting my thing all wetter. I can already feel my face tightening up. So we're gonna try to match our eyes, our eye sockets, which for the most part isn't super difficult, but the fact that, you know, Just different sides of your face. Uh, and then we're using the same hand to do them both. Right. And take the sponge, it's probably still wet. We'll make our squinty face, I guess is what I'm gonna call it. And not anymore, apparently, because I stopped doing it. Um, you're just gonna kind of like. <laughs> took our sponge dabbed in the middle helped create a big old mess we're gonna have defining lines this is kind of like you know the undercoat hmm. <laughs> sorry I have too much fun Okay, so, pardon me, take our black, and hmm, I don't want this big one. What we're going to do is we're going to let our creative juices flow, and we're going to ignore our face for the most part, and I want to create a couple of stitch it, stitch it areas on my face are going to need stitches or already have stitches so frankenstein he gets electrocuted right or frankenstein's monster i always get that mixed up but we're going to draw like a like my head has been sawed open now i just drug this across like that to create the line and what we're going to do is I want it to be slightly cracked. Like that, like, oh man, I just my I just had brain surgery and then I walked into a wall and cracked it up again. Alright, and then I want something where did I put that? I want it right here. I feel like this area isn't getting enough attention. So we're just gonna crack that open. Alright. Jessica, you made it! I have my chat on so I can see you if you wanted to chat with me because it's just you and me. Alright, so we're going to let our blood dry. And then I cheated. Totally cheated. So if you watch my Dollar Tree sh um, video I made, I went to Dollar Tree and I've been telling you guys a bunch of stuff I buy from Dollar Tree all the time. And so what I did is I made a Dollar Tree box. And one of the cool things that came out of that box, which I wanted to use tonight because I still to this day do not have silver. Um... Thank you. I got them at a grocery outlet. I got my hair clips at grocery outlet. Just FI. Um, anywho, uh, I didn't have silver face paint. But at Dollar Tree, they had liquid eyeshadow. So I was going to... 
use these for some bolts that I was going to put right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some bolts right here. Bella, come on, baby. So we're going to apply the silver. We're going to cut, uh, put a couple of little circles right here. I'm going to do a couple coats because we want it to come up nice and strong. And actually, I want this to be more pronounced, so it's going to be bigger. So, Bella loves protecting, and especially since she's almost asleep. But we're going to apply right here. And you might not be able to see it, and it might not show up right. But we're going to give it a shot. And we're going to do it, have to probably do a couple coats. But you could, I could have gone with gold. But we'll just have to see how that works. All right, we're always in experimenting. We must try. So what I want to do is I'm going to take our gray. And I'm going to take my very whimsical skinny brush. Get that a little wet. We're going to go into the gray. And then we're going to load it up. All nice. And then we're going to do some lines as stitches. And we're going to go back with the black. And then we're also going to go back with the gray to do like stitch holes. But for right now, we're just going to lightly lay down a couple of gray stitches. Because, of course, Dr. Frankenstein... He did not have the best surgical equipment, so he went to his Nana's sewing box and grabbed the dirtiest thread that he could find to sew up his monster. What a jerk. I, oh, my boyfriend, he asked me, he goes, oh, are you going to be Bride of Frankenstein or are you going to be Frankenstein's monster? And I said, I'm going to be Frankenstein's monster. I could have easily done the bride, but she's really just white-faced, or paler face because she's dead, and then, you know, it's not as much fun. Now, I did, we're going to have this stitch go slightly across, like, oh, I tried so hard to hold them together, I just couldn't do it. And, um, and I know it's difficult to see these, but that's why we're going back over them later on. This one, we're just going to lay some staples. Let's see. But yeah, we're gonna, I know it sounds counterproductive, but it makes it look more realistic if we go light, dark, and then light again for highlights. Hmm. And I'm just, if you notice, I'm just pressing it gently. I'm becoming a puff, puffer fish. All right, so we're going to clean off that guy, and then, ooh, scratch, and then we're going to go in with our black. So I only did the red to just give a nice, you know, fleshy look. You don't have to if you don't want to, and you don't even have to be a green Frankenstein. If you want, you could be a yellow Frankenstein, or you could be a pale guy, or blue. I was looking at the Munsters, and uh, the dad... Uh, what's the dad's name? Harry? No. Herbert? Mm, no. Herman. Herman. Herman, he was like a very pale blue. But it also was mostly shown in black and white. So you notice I'm just going above. Slightly above. I'm picking a side of the stitch, like so. And then, this guy is just one. Okay. See how it looks kind of, um, looks more 3D? And it'll look even better once we put the stitch holes. So we're gonna just take our black and we're going to lightly 
right underneath it to make it more, look more like a staple, which we're going to create a shadow. Like so. Let's just say he ran out of yarn. Grab the nearest office supply he had, which was a staple gun. And, you're, and I'm like, mm. he should, Dr. Frankenstein should have thought this out before he got started, just saying. Oh, it doesn't really look neat. Okay. So we're getting our black re-wettened. Re-wettened. And I wanted to do just a couple. I'm trying to think. Maybe I want to add a little. Like that. Hmm. Well. Well, we let our creative juices flow in because all I sketched out was this. Now I almost had that done. I don't want it to be over yet. So we're going to take this guy, the, our silver eyeshadow, and we're going to do our second coat. Here it is. It's a little bit better. I can see it now. Now, um,. You can get all sorts of colors and stuff from Dollar Tree. Especially right now. I went there and I got a couple of color sticks. And I might show you some while we're waiting for this stuff to dry. If anyone is watching or watching later wants to tell me what their favorite Frankenstein movie is, I would love to hear it. Um, ooh, look how pretty. Uh, so while I'm laying that dry, real quick show you, you can get gems from Dollar Tree. I got this white eyeliner, which would be good for, um, stars or certain stuff. Applicators are great, especially if you have their pressed, slightly, whatever, glitter. These are awesome, by the way. And then, just like our silver, I got purple copper and hot pink and they're liquid eyeshadows but once they're dry they're dry and then i got these awesome color sticks they don't come on very strong uh, they're they kind of remind me of like really cheap face paint you know crayons but if you need them you need them i might use the black one well yeah i have it out but i also found this blue sparkly color stick and just because Look at that. Like, I mean, it's a gentle glitter. It's not too hard. But, and then these makeup remover, fun eyeshadow colors that you can turn, and then liquid eyeliner. This works almost as good as my skinny brush that I just used it to use the stitches with. So, um, just a heads up with that. Um, and the applicators, like I said, they work really good for um, a bunch of things, and you, you can always buy them. I'm sure you could get a big bulk, and, oh, as well as cloths to clean your face with when you're done. And then I got a really nifty box to keep it all in. So, uh, yeah. Hmm. I wanted to paint my bottom lip black. Let's see how well this is going to work. I don't undo my top lip. Mm. <laughs> Cracking my own self up. Um, yeah, so I see it's kind of transparent, so that's why the green comes out. And I like it like this because I don't know, I feel like it makes me more Frankenstein y, if that makes any sense. So looking at this. Let's add, um, if you remember me telling you to keep Q-tips, I think I'm going to not use those. It's good to have, but I'm very finicky right this second because I don't know what I want to do. I think I'm going to take the black with my handy dandy detail brush and we are going to roll it in the black paint. And we're going to add little holes. So you can always put your finger 
I told my grandma when I did her um, Sally, like, I'm going to balance my finger on your nose. And she goes, why are you going to balance on my nose? And I'm like, grandma, it's okay. But if you need a balance, that's fine. Um, I'm going to do like just like a couple of small C's to show like skin puncturing. Because I mean, I don't know about y'all. I oh, when I sew, I stick myself all the time. But I would imagine to have to actually sew through the skin. I take an abundance of trauma and effort. So I'd imagine that there would be a lot of uh, damage done to the said skin. And you don't have to do this if you're happy with the way it was before. I wasn't. So I'm just going in and I'm making it right here. It's a double stitch, so it's looking a little weird. <coughs> oh, it's okay. <coughs> she just wants to protect me. <coughs> okay, so now we're going right here. Now, I hope everyone is able during COVID to be at home and be safe and... I say this during all my videos because I genuinely care, but my family, or in my household, we have one, two, three, four, five, six adults and a very protective doggy. So I like to, you know, apologize for any background noise that you may hear, but I mean, it really can't be helped and we're trying to do our part by staying home for the most part. You know, but that's why I'm apologizing. Okay, so if you see, adds a little texture, adds a little, um, I don't want to say movement, but it adds just a little umph. Now, if you want, which I do because I'm ex I like to be extra, we're going to take this and we're going to do it just on the outside of our steeples. I don't think I should do it on all sides. Mm. Yeah. All right. Oh, I lost Frankenstein. Okay. Our eyeshadow is dry. You notice, look at this. It doesn't come off. So that's one of the reasons why I really, really like it. So we're going to be doing a bolt. And I know it's round, and that's okay, because we're just going to paint over it. You know, no one is, and I say this all the time, but because I'm having to look through a camera, through a mirror, to get this, oh, because I'm painting my own self, you know, if anyone gives you crap over something you worked really hard about, you know, it's just, that's on them. But, mostly others are going to see how much work and how much, um, Um, they're going to see how much uh, work you put into it, and they're going to want to um, ask you questions. Alright, so I'm doing a little circle, and then I'm going to do a bunch of, like, I don't know, like that, I guess. Uh, it doesn't really look like anything, but it's okay. Happy with it. So, hi, Joel. So I'm reloading my brush, and we're going to go across, try to do the same thing. Yes, I'm good. <laughs> I'm a little green at the moment, but I'm great. It's my spooky Friday night face paintings. It's one of my favorites. All right, and then... There we go. We're just doing our best to make it what we can. So we're doing a little circle. Then we're doing a couple of like 
little semicircles underneath it. Okay, so there's this. I'm excited for it. We're going to take a really long one again, our very whimsical blue. We're going to put it through our white. So we did already did our dirty gray, we did our black, and for our stitches, now we're going to go back through with our white. So we're just going to do... Thank you, Jessica. I'm just going to do two slight from the top down. I could put some on my neck, however, uh, I'm not really big on putting face paint on my neck. If I was like to do this for a costume, maybe, totally would. But um, I like my clothes, and so I'm not going to put it. I could totally, but for photos, I'm just going to be like this. I do, however, have a nice jacket, but you can easily take a sponge and sponge under your chin and all the way down your neck and do a nice even coat. Um, it really doesn't take that much extra paint to do that. Um, yeah, you could totally do it. I just don't like going below my, below my uh, jaw and chin line. All right, we're going to go slightly over to show the shininess of our staples. Yeah, if I was going to be Frankenstein for Halloween, probably would have done my ears. It would have done in my hairline. Um, would have done my neck. Would have done everything. This year I'm going to be Wonder Woman. I'm so excited. And right, we're going to do... I just want to do a little touches on the eyebrows up there. I'm going to do a little line on the bolt to show that it's a shiny bolt. Like so. And then, hmm, I think we're done with the pure white. And I put that girl aside. We're going to take our gray. I'm going to mix it in. So here's our gray. I'm going to mix it in with a tad bit. Oh, it's okay, Joel. There's no issues. I like ideas. I'm going to take it into the green. And I'm going to squint and I'm just going to, so I took our gray and Frankenstein's, Frankenstein has hard, had a hard life. So we're just going to take the gray, uh, green that we made. We're just going to go up like that. We're going to continue. It's okay if your paint is a little dirty, no worries. Right. And we're going to continue. So if you notice, like, see on this side, it looks a little bit more tired down on this side. And if you want, you can, like, outline that you're hungry. You know, put a couple of uh, tired face lines. And it, as it dries, the paint does get a little darker. So when it looks super bright and green, you know... Just know that it's uh it will dry a little a little darker. Okay. And if I want to, I can spray with the already dirty black green sponge I have. And I can um and I can uh blend in any of the lines near the eyes. Because, like, if you notice, it's a little, it's a little happy-go-lucky right here. And we're going to outline right here. Just the fact that we're hungry. We're going to add a butt chin. Because why not? If I can, let's do it. The whole thing about doing face painting, if you're doing it on yourself or kids or whatnot, is that you do what makes you happy. So... You can do whatever you want to do, which is really cool. Because it's very, you know, 
it, it's your expression. I mean, if a kid asks for something, you know, you do your best to deliver. But, you know, you know uh, the only person that really has to be happy when you're doing it on yourself is you. And that's all that matters. So if you want to do a full costume or something, or like uh, we did the creepy doll, there's always those options. So now I kind of want my lips to be a little cracky. So I'm going to dip into the uh, black a little bit. It has just a touch of black. I'm going to mix it in with the green a little bit. And we're going to go down like so. He's, he's dehydrated. He's dry. We're going to take our little whimsical guy. Just touching it up a little bit here and there. I'm giving him some I'm super tired lines. Like so. And then I wanted to have a square nose. I don't know why. We're gonna make him have like a Maybe not a square nose. Maybe not that at all. Handy dandy dirty sponge. Spritzer. Ooh, we don't spritzer. We wipe. Then we go back over it. And you can always blend where you want stuff and where you don't want stuff, like so. I kind of want that to simmer down a bit. I want it to be more blendy, a little bit more in their natural. Natural. It's the undead. So, you can have this. I think I want my black lip to be a little bit blacker. Because the stick just didn't do much for me. I just made it look like a dark. So we're going to just... Like that. I'm not covering the whole lip. We just want it to be like... And... Anywhere else any black? No, but I want to simmer down this cheek a wee bit. And you can blend it in from the outside if you'd like it to be a little less, uh, like to soften it up. Mm. I feel like I have a mustache. Maybe that's just not going to fly with me. I don't want no mustache. Waxing time. Just kidding. How come I always end up with a button nose? And you, if you ever feel like you want to re-blend, easily just spray this with a little bit of water. Mmm, zombie. No, not zombie. Not brains. Give me my wife. Where's that? Right, I'm gonna touch up right here and I'm gonna accentuate my nostrils. 
because I just don't know when to stop. Okay, so now we're going to take out our clippies. All of our clippies. And if you want, you can go all the way in the hairline, which I tend to avoid, but in this instance, why not? And then my boyfriend was so graciously lent me his dress jacket that he's never worn. Should probably clean my fingertips before I get it all green. Eh, that's as good as it's gonna get. guys enjoyed this one for my spooky Friday night. I got my nice little stapled scars and I got my little nuts and bolts and I got my cracked skull and my brain surgery scars and I have this other bolt. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess that's it for the night. I am going to go and wash this off my face, but oh, thank you. Yes, okay. I love that you love it. All right. Well, Thank you very much, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you later. Bye-bye.